It's Tuesday, campers. Moving it along. Just nine months after the U.S. Treasury bailed out the nation's largest banks, Wall Street's biggest surviving securities firm top forecast as Goldman Sachs said quarterly earnings surged 33%. Goldman also blew the lid off compensation. It set aside $6.65 billion for salary, bonuses, and benefits in the quarter, putting the average Goldman employee on pace to earn more than $900,000 this year, while senior officers and star traders will likely receive tens of millions of dollars. Higher energy prices rippled through the economy in June, helping to drive a bigger than expected gain in retail sales. The sharp rise in wholesale prices could fan investors' fears about inflation, though. Economists view the energy cost hikes as temporary and not the beginning of a dangerous bout of spiraling prices, but say consumers likely will remain cautious as the unemployment rate ticks up. Wall Street's reaction? Here are the numbers. ExxonMobil said today it will make its first major investment in greenhouse gas reducing biofuels in a $600 million partnership with the La Jolla biotech company Synthetic Genomics to develop transportation fuels from algae. The oil and gas giant has been criticized for not spending enough to explore alternate energy options. One of the company's requirements was finding a biofuel source that could be produced on a large scale. Dell said today that the U.S. personal computer market has reached its low point, but that the timing of a global turnaround in the technology industry remains anyone's guess. Businesses have clamped down on the technology spending and put off new computer purchases as the economic crisis persists, while consumers are more eager to buy new computers but are choosing cheaper models such as netbooks, which are smaller and less powerful than regular laptops. For the Business Press, I'm Dave Kaufman. Join us again tomorrow for another Biz Minute.